Happy birthday, Ryan. How is your birthday going? Hello. Hello. Brazil, hi. Out of pocket stuff. Oh no, Nick. No, no, no. It's not necessary. But I, I do appreciate you sometimes in the comments. How have you been? I feel like we don't talk anymore since you and Riley. Also, everyone moved. Hello from upstate New York. How's everyone's day? It's Tuesday? Doesn't feel like Tuesday. From Nebraska, hello. I was in Nebraska. I went to Nebraska for my birthday. You graduated college and got into grad school? Oh my gosh, congrats! You're all grown up! Oh my god, it's so weird! But I'm so happy for you. You're, you got out of the mess. I'm so happy because a lot of them still are in the mess, you know? So, I am so proud of you. I have no clue what you're probably going to school for. But I'm so happy for you. My day's been pretty good. It, it's been a, a weird one. I've been doing a lot of editing. I've just been trying to keep busy. Um, I had to pay my manufacturer again for my second samples. And I'm probably going to go in the city sometime soon to get them. So yeah. Lots been going on. So much has been going on. Um, if you want to mod, you can. Um, I forget how to do this a little bit, not gonna lie. Give me one second. Okay. Add a moderator. There we go. I need that to move so I can make all my mods moderators. <laughs> Give me one second so I can. Oh, apparently I can... That's annoying. I can only do one moderator. I'm sorry. And I just gave it to Oatmeal Guy. But I don't know if he... As long as he's still here. That's a, that's really annoying. Did you miss the last Twitch? Um, When's the last time I streamed on Twitch? Saturday? So if you didn't watch Saturday, then yes. But it's still up there. And any past ones that you may have missed are on YouTube. Good afternoon. It is early afternoon. My dogs still haven't ate. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to feed them. It's just an influx of following, so thank you for the follows, but... <laughs> Joining from the hospital? Oh my gosh, are you okay? Like... I hope you're, like, well and, like, getting better if you're staying in the hospital. That's so scary. That was just, like, very daunting. It's 6.05 for me as well. Obvious. Yes, haha. -ha. I was like, there's no way we're just, like, two minutes off. What am I doing? I'm seam ripping this shirt that's, like, color blocked because I'm going to use a certain amount of each part of the fabric. Um, I'm just keeping my hands busy because like I said earlier, like I've just been wanting to keep busy today and this is like my first time sitting down. <laughs> um, but at some point we will get to answering some of the questions from yesterday that were asked. Obviously, I want to put out there right now, I can't answer all of them. Um, there's some things due to NDAs that I just can't answer. And I'm sorry, 
but I will try to be as clear as I possibly can. Was it at 7 p.m.? I don't know. I thought it was at 6. I'm pretty sure I have the post up on my other, my phone, so hold on. Let me go back to, let me go back to it. We'll, we'll double check what time it was at. It, it, honestly, it doesn't matter either way. I can only mod one person, which is stupid, but yeah. How is everyone? Hellos. You like the dress? Thank you. I said 6 p.m., huh? I was right. Um, okay, let's see. I'll answer one question. What is something that you have a hard time to accept from others that you want to accept? Um. <clears throat> Maybe their judgment because like I want to care less about what people think because I still care about what they think and I also have a hard time accepting what I can do um, and I don't mean that in a bad way I mean like I underestimate what I can do all the time I feel like I am really bad at driving when I'm not that bad and I feel like I can't do certain things or I'm not ready to do certain things and meanwhile I probably can so it all really depends when's Tara's birthday April 16th it's not hard hearing criticism it's hard shaking the criticism off for me because Growing up, the public opinion and what the public thought was very forced down, like, my throat method, like, um, metaphorically, and, sorry, my dog just broke down one of the doors, and I'm pretty sure my dad is napping, <laughs> um, but it, it's hard to let it go. It's not hard to, like, say I don't care about it, but it's hard to know someone that I care about thinks that way. You're from Los Angeles, California? Like, are you from there, or did you move there? Because there, there is a difference than from and I live in. Because I live in New York, but I'm from Pittsburgh. Do I drive? Yes. And no, I don't use pillows. I have a seat that was custom made for me. Um, I'm going to probably do something on YouTube for it soon. I just haven't gotten to it because I'm more focused on driving than I am taking a video of the car and everything I have. But um, if you watch I Am Shauna Ray Season 2, you see me in the process of getting my license and getting my license. And then I've had my license for almost a year now. Not to be rude or anything, but why do you look so small but act like a grown-up? Um, that's because I have dwarfism. So I was born with cancer, um, which caused me to have a deficiency in my growth hormone. And despite taking medications to prevent short stature, I got stuck with short stature and got diagnosed with pituitary dwarfism, which is medically, um, it's a medical-induced um, short stature, typically proportional dwarfism. And I act like a grown-up because I am 24 years old. <laughs> so thank you, I act my age. Would I like to grab a coffee with you? First off, I don't know you, so I have to say no. But two, I can't drink coffee. I can grab something else with someone, but I would prefer to know them in person. 
What's something I hate about my life? Um, hate is a very strong word, and I do not use it unless, like, I'm absolutely pissed, and I really don't mean it when I use it. Um, but something I dislike about my life is that the things I want to do aren't happening fast enough. Um, that I don't have the funds to kind of do the things I want to do immediately. Um, I don't have that many friends, if that's shocking, I don't know, but I don't. I wish I had more friends, but like I, I don't know if I need more friends, but I wish I had more like going out friends and maybe one more like deep personal level friend. But at the same time, like, if I get that, I don't know if I'm going to be happy. Because I don't like people a lot. Like, I have my limits. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, my puppy. I have to get my puppy. I have to get my puppy. I have to get my puppy. Okay, we're back. I have Nova, which is a barker, and I have Chicha. Chica which is a door opener. Um, so, stuff might go down. But, <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, we were reading questions. Let's see, let's see. Favorite type of music? Um, it's probably, probably rap or um, R&B. Um, I don't know, it changes, and also, I like all kinds of music except, like, country. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I'm weird. So, where do I buy my clothing? So, I buy a lot from, like, Target, because when I was growing up in Pittsburgh, Target had a lot of plain clothing and a lot of my clothing I've had since I was young. I'm not gonna lie to you, like it's old. Um, I've gotten a lot of my clothes from Kohl's. Um, I did shop on Sheen, but I stopped that. Um, it also didn't last long. That was my issue is like a lot of those um, cheaper companies, they don't last as long. Um, I'm now looking into just making all my clothes. Like, I'm no longer buying, really. Um, but, yeah. Like, I've done a lot of boutiques also, like, local places. Um, as a kid, my mom bought me a lot of Old Navy. If I could get another tattoo right now, what would it be? <clears throat> maybe something to do with like fashion and like fabric and my company um because i i just made my company but i would want to really think on what i'd want um just because of how important the company is to me and what it means for me and with sewing and fashion and stuff, I don't want to do something that's redundant and just been done a hundred times. But I also want to keep it simple because I don't want it to be huge. What's my type? Um, it So there's not, like, I can give you what my physical type is, and I can give you what my emotional type is. And the emotional is the winner in this situation. Like, you can be my physical type, but if you're not my emotional type, I don't know if I can do it. Um, so, I like guys that are stupid funny. Um, I like guys that have ambition. I like guys that are um, go-getters. And I like guys that, you know, can make me laugh when I'm upset and can just make me feel important. I think that's really a main thing is like 
they have to listen. I have to feel heard. I have to feel understood. I have to feel like they care. Because if they don't, then I'm leaving. And I don't care how you feel. You didn't care how I felt, so I'm going to leave. Um, my type physically. So I've not dated my physical type a lot. I've actually dated what I would consider opposite of my physical type more often. But it's more taller, darker complexion, darker hair, darker eyes. Um, built but not too built because a weight thing is an issue. I am only 50 pounds. You can't be more than like, I'm going to say probably 200 if we want to be safe. 200 to 250. Like, and like, it's got to be more muscle than fat because you have to be able to control your weight. And I, I hate to say it, but I don't want to get crushed. I also don't want you to roll me over, like, roll over on me in your sleep and, like, crush me like some people do babies. I, I'm i okay. I don't want to deal with that. Um, but, like, do I date with inside that physical type? No. I've dated one person that you can say kind of falls into that category, and they don't even really fall into that category. So... That, that's, that's type, um, but like, like I said, emotional outweighs physical for me. Ah, oh, dang it, it reset it. Okay. Going back to the questions. Greetings. Hello. That's kind of, that's going to be nice having blue eyes against that complexion. I feel like people that have that complexion and then have lighter eyes, their society deems them really pretty. And I think it's just because it's unique. But I think everyone's like equally pretty. Like I can be attracted to literally anyone. I can find some kind of quality that I like about anyone. Physical feature as well. Be like, oh, I like their nose, and then the whole person becomes physically attracted to me, or attracted to me. And, yeah, that is just how it happens, unfortunately. So, can I have kids? I'm not fully ready to answer the question completely. I am going to release a video on my YouTube about it, and then I'm going to release kind of another video on my YouTube about it because the one I'm going to release first is older because it's my kind of reaction to what the answer is. And then the other one is, you know, me now. I, mean, I yet, have yet to record it and what I'm probably going to do and what I plan to do. Um, so I'm going to release that on my YouTube, but whether or not I can have them, you can watch I Am Shauna Ray Season 2. There are fertility things within the episodes, and you can get some kind of the answers. I just, I can't actually give you the answer, even though it's kind of clear. I look upset. That's just my face. What's the biggest turn on in a guy? Um... I feel like it's going to be really stupid, but, like, being nice, like, doing those genuine things of, like, actually asking me how I am, like, being interested in the conversation, and it's kind of simple, like, if a guy actually remembers what I'm talked about and I don't have to repeat myself, that's a turn on. Any new tattoos? No, I've been thinking about it, but it would probably be like a foot tattoo because like I still am kind of dabbling within the acting realm. So, um, I don't know. You can't really have tattoos with acting in. 
potentially just kid roles, which is kind of boring. I don't want to just do kid roles. What would be the perfect date? Um, my favorite food, my favorite candy, my favorite ice cream. It doesn't have to be my favorite movie, but a good movie, like on a projector. And either like a drive-in kind of theater setup, or like just sit outside on a blanket setup. Yeah. And popcorn. And like the right popcorn. Like kettle corn and popcorn. And like not the popcorn I'm allergic to. Like the popcorn I'm not allergic to that's made with like coconut oil. You gotta make it by hand. It's, you gotta put some thought into it. And flowers. <laughs> I have not seen the Barbie movie. Despite going to the Barbie pop-up cafe with my friends, I did not see the movie. My friend saw the movie. She cried. Riley saw the movie twice. She cried both times. I don't know if I'll go see it in theaters. I'll probably end up seeing it at one point. But until then, I haven't seen it. Do I have my own car yet? Mm -hmm. So, in, like, 2017, my mom bought a car with the intentions mm -hmm. of it being my car. And then she ended up wanting the car, and then she ended up wanting the next car we bought that was going to be my car. So then I got the 2017 car, and, um, yeah, that that's my car. So, yeah, technically, but legally, no, it's still under my mother's name. Nova, I get it you want out, but you decided to be in here. I know, I know you really didn't decide I made you get in here, but stop. Would I ever visit Africa? Yeah, I want to go to each continent at least once. I want to go to each country if I can at least once, if it's, you know, deemed safe for the time I'm alive. Um, but yeah, I would like to visit everywhere I can. Because I think culture and other cultures and embracing other people and different walks of life is so important. And I feel like if you don't travel a bit, you get a little bit stuck within your ways and think like, like some people think certain things about certain countries and that's not necessarily true anymore. That's like really old, old, old history. <laughs> Hi. Number one place that I want to see, um, I want to see the Seven Wonders most of all, but I know that's not the place. So I think, I think I want to go to Antarctica or just, yeah, I don't know. I want, I like, I've always had more love for the colder animals. I'm sorry, Nova, I know you're warm blooded. But, like, the mammals that live up there are just, they're so cute. And I know you got to keep your distance. But I would love to see all of them. Favorite candy. Okay. So Whoppers are technically a candy and a chocolate, but I don't really count them as candy candy. Um, so... I'm trying to remember them. I don't mind lemon heads, but I like the chewy lemon heads better than the hard lemon heads just because of my teeth. Um, I like Tootsie Rolls, but like more like the flavor Tootsie Rolls than the regular chocolate Tootsie Rolls. Um, I don't mind Skittles anymore, but I can't really have them as much. I like Rollos. Um, Twix are great. Whatchamacallits are great. Yeah. That's, I mean, Reese's are great too, but they get tiring. So, things like that. But, like, I don't know. I'm particular about each thing because, like, some things are just so sweet and I just can't have them. And some things hurt my teeth. And you gotta, you gotta like, actually get to know me and test it out, kind of. Hello. 
am I dating? Um, I'm not not dating. I'm, like, not gonna answer that question completely, but I'm not, like, not seeing people if I want to see them. It's it's not like I'm restricting myself, no. I, so before filming I Am Shauna Ray season one, I was in a relationship for, like, four and a half years, and then we kind of went on a break, and I filmed season one. And then we got back together after the show ended, or, like, during the end of the show, I think. And we broke up before filming season two for the final time. I blocked him on everything. Um, and so, yeah, I had gotten basically out of a five-year relationship. And I just, I didn't want to date. I wanted to know who I was without him. And, you know, I was in that relationship since teenagers. Like, I was in it from 17. And I didn't know who I really was as an adult without him, despite us taking breaks. That would sum up to, like, a year and a half over time. I just, he was always a thought. And I I needed to breathe. And, you know, filming a TV show did not let me breathe. It was all about dating. And I was not excited. I literally expressed, I do not want to date. I will tell you why. I will tell you the toxicity I've gone through, but I just don't want to do it. And instead, we, you know, did what we did. Or am I into hippies with dreadlocks? It depends. Are you nice? Yeah, so I, now with the dating, I, it's been long enough since that relationship's ended. I figured out more of who I am and what I'm looking for romantically and what I'm not looking for. And, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with where I am. I'm really happy with who I am and what I'm doing. What about Italy? I would love to go to Italy. I don't know who you're telling me that wasn't good. I, from 17 to 22, you guys have no clue probably who that person is. Am I into firefighters? Fire, putting your life on the line is definitely a plus. It's definitely a good thing versus a bad thing. Um, but am I into specifically people that are firefighters? I'm not against dating a firefighter. I know they can save my life. I know that they can lift me. That's a good sign. If my voice is so irritating, you can hit the X. But if you're sitting here complaining about it, you obviously enjoy it to a certain extent and you're just denying it. Thank you for all the follows. You guys are super, 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 super sweet. You happen to be a professional wrestler. That's got to be a fun job. I I think I um I was into a wrestler in high school, but like he he was a weird person. Like he was a nice person, but also weird. Am I married? No, my sister got married though. Oh, more questions. We do have more questions. Do I text? Yeah. Of course I text. I have friends that I text. How old am I? I'm 24. I answer that a lot. So I'm probably not going to answer that often. If you guys keep asking it, I'm sorry. You fight computers for a living. Funny. You're on vacation now? Where are you on vacation? That's exciting. I want to be on vacation. Have I ever been to Africa? No. I have never been to another continent, unfortunately. I'm trying. I really am. But I've been to the Caribbean or the Bahamas. Um, not the Caribbean. And um, Canada.
Okay. Have I ever seen Game of Thrones? Yes. Um, did I watch it all? No. My parents watched it and I watched a bit with them and then I kind of dipped because it, it was an, oh, it was, a, it's a good show. Um, don't hate me, but I just, I didn't have a huge interest in watching every episode. What's my go-to snack? Chocolate or ice cream? Um, but like the salty snack? Um... Just like Hawaiian kettle chips, like Hawaiian onion, they're like my kid snack. Like I used to drink Cherokee Red and eat Hawaiian um, onion chips or something. I don't know. It was a really specific brand, and it's I haven't seen it really since leaving Pittsburgh. So it's a it's a difficult thing. What do I do when it's really hot outside? I tend to stay inside if it's super hot outside. I don't want to die. Um, but if it's nice outside and I want to be outside, I'll try to go somewhere. But if no one wants to go somewhere with me, I get really sad and stay inside. What's the oldest age I would date? I'm 24. I would probably no date no older than 31-ish. Um, yeah. Sorry, I just I don't think I can. Thoughts on people who call others weird for thinking I'm cute when I'm kid size. Um, well, I don't honestly like being called cute if you're saying you're attracted to me physically or that you find me attractive physically, but um, that's besides the point. People that say that it's weird or wrong for someone to be attracted to me physically are small-minded and unfortunately don't understand that dwarfism is a disability and I have proportional dwarfism and I don't look or act or think like a child therefore it doesn't make it um strange it doesn't make it a predator situation and um I yeah anyone that's been attracted to me that I've been in romantic relationships with in any sense have not been on that predator scale. Anyone that's come up to me and been attracted to me on a one stance, sometimes you have to kind of gauge it, but if they're actually asking me intellectual questions, then they're into me for who I am. And if they're asking me more childlike questions or questions to see if my mind is vulnerable, then they're more predatory. And you don't, you don't go out with those people. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I've also had people treat me like a science experiment where they weren't looking at it as predatory, but they were looking at it as um, an experimental game where they were a certain height and they've never been with someone below a certain height, so they thought it would be fun to experiment with it, which is something that's very common with dwarfism, you know, People, especially females with dwarfism, they get put into this category of kink, and it's it's really wrong, and it's not okay. We're humans. Y'all need to stop. Like, y'all can do it in your creepy corners with people that consent, but don't do it with the people that don't consent, because that's just wrong. Mm. I know Nova is so wrong. Nova agrees, and she's not even that short. Hellos. Um, am I possibly dating someone with the mm -hmm. same condition? So I never romantically, Tommy and I never really went super romantic. We went on one blind date and it didn't really work out romantically. We ended up being friends and we're still friends. Like he is offered to help me with driving on weekends and stuff, which is really sweet. And I'm taking him up on the offer all the time. And we've gone to like um, Port Jefferson together and stuff and hung out. Um, I think, no, 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 look at me. You guys are gonna be quiet and good and nice dog. No, Chica, what did I just say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your ears. 
I apologize. I did warn y'all. Um, but, so, he and I never worked out romantically. We ended up being friends. I have only met two other people with dwarfism, not the same type of dwarfism as I, and neither one of those was going to be a romantic interest because, one, they were in relationships, and two, I met them at, like, for a five-hour span, and I, there was no, there were no romantic interests on either side, so, <laughs> we were all fine and dandy, um, so I haven't had the opportunity to actually be romantically involved with someone of the same disability as me or dwarfism, and I'm not against it, it's just, you know, it's a very rare condition on, there's not a lot if you look at the world population, especially in New York population, that have dwarfism. So you don't really run into each other, especially when the world you live in is so highly populated. I don't really see the same people twice. Would I date a short king? Um, yeah, I'm not against dating a shorter guy if you, on the average scale of height. What's the typical height I date? Going back to the short king question. I'm not against dating someone of a certain height, but... My last three exes have been 5'8 and above, and um, one of them was almost 6 foot. Um, I've talked to about like three guys that are 6'4". Taller guys tend to make more moves on me, I've noticed. Shorter guys don't. Um, I don't know if that's a thing for me. I don't know if it's just the lack of running into shorter kings. Um, but, yeah, it just doesn't happen. And, yeah, taller guys just tend to ask me out. This is my tattoo. I'm not going to angle it right because I really just don't feel like it. But, yes, this is my tattoo. Hellos. Can I say hola, Eduardo? I was going to say Ecuador because I thought it was going to be a place at first. Hello from Honduras. Hola. I actually know someone who's Honduran. They're um, Dominican and Honduran. I haven't spoken to them in a while. They moved to Cali. Oh, we were going up, not down. Do I like that I have fans? I like that I have a community. I... I think that there's a difference that needs to be made when it comes to the disability community and people that are different. And I feel it's really important that children growing up that are in a different situation or in a minority of some sense know that they're not alone. And my community, my fan base has made me find that for myself, made me realize I'm not alone. So I... am just want to continue doing that for others. Am I ticklish? No. Would I get my navel pierced? Probably not. Not not anymore. I feel like one, I've reached the age where I just feel like it's unnecessary at this point. Like I've I've gone through the fad of wanting it done. Do I want to go to another country? We answered this earlier, but yes. You love my energy? Oh, thank you. You're amazing as well. So, do I have a fan page? I, I know there's fan pages out there. I don't know if they're still active. They were really active during the show. Um, but I don't have a self-run fan page. Um, I just view that as my social media. Um, when it comes to my fashion line, I will probably make a separate account when it gets up and running. Um, do I have fan mail? I do have a P.O. box. It is on the Instagram bubbles. Um, I think it's like... Apartment 215, some Medford, it's like 1905 Route something. I don't know, just look at the bubble, I'm sorry. I have difficulty remembering. 
if I could go back and refilm the show, is there something I would do differently? I think um, at the end of the day, TV is edited, so there's not much you can do with that. But I think that I would try to get the focus more on my disability and mental health and empowering it versus what happened on the show with romantic i don't think my romantic life and my fertility are really i understand that society wise there are hot topics and that everyone wants to know kind of situations no matter who you are i don't think that as a society it is right for us to ask that of someone else i don't think it's necessary i think it's kind of dumb hello Lagos, Nigeria. Did I say that correct? Lagos. Is it pronounced Lagos? Lagos? No, it's not Lagos. Do I like lemons or limes better? Flavorize limes. If I have to eat it, lemon. You'll fly me out to Texas. I, I don't know if I want to go to Texas right now. I have a lot going on right now that I won't. I need to be in other places, unfortunately. What's my limit on alcoholic beverages? Depends on the beverage. Probably like three-ish. Like about beer, wine. That, that's when I'll stop myself. Um, hard liquor? It depends on if I ate or not. But if I've had food, probably like six or seven shots straight. I don't know. That's what they made me do on my birthday. I'm busy. In the closet. Did you let her pee in her diaper? They let my dog pee in her diaper. Ugh. Favorite cartoon as a kid? Um, Tom and Jerry. Favorite sugary cereal? Frosted Flakes. Do I have friends in Brazil? Um, in Brazil, no, but I know a couple people that are from Brazil, and one of them I consider my friend. Good to see my chest growing. You know, that's the kind of stuff that makes women want to hide their body. Um, it's it's not growing, so it it. It, through my hormonal period, they tend to enhance and decrease. And it's also called a bra. Um, would I consider an upgrade? Probably not. I don't want the back pain. I am good with my body. I, if I'm going to do anything to enhance it, it'll be through working out. I'm sorry. That's just, it's kind of an ignorant first part of that. Like the question's fine, but like the comment was unnecessary. And honestly, that's the kind of stuff that women don't want to hear. Who is my crush? Um, I don't think I really, I mean, I, I like people, but like, I don't really think, not like famous people or anything like, no, like, I, people are nice, they're cute. Thank you. I'm thinking I'm going to let it grow until um, before Halloween because I kind of want it a little short for Halloween, but I don't want to get it cut because <laughs> getting it cut is kind of pricey. Um, but I'm thinking about letting it grow for the next month and maybe two months and then going back to the salon and getting it cut. Favorite movie? Like kids movie is like Aladdin and Aretha Robinson's adult movie i really don't have one i enjoy them but like i don't like have a die hard i want to watch over and over again my sister as a kid which this is a really old movie um she liked the movie called beaches and it was introduced to her by my grandmother and it looked like it was made in the 60s and i don't even know how old it is it might be that old but we had it on a vhs tape I'm going to go back to the questions before they time out. 
So, did my sister and I move out of our parents' house? No, I am currently still living with them. That was a trial move out situation. So, we lived there for a little bit and then came back home. Um, unfortunately, we were not able to afford the prices then. I am looking into doing it, moving out more often and sooner than later, but it depends it, with the holidays coming up and everything. Like, you got to think that, like, far out when you're moving. Um, so it may, it may be a little longer, but I am hoping to get out there soon. Favorite thing to drink? Um, probably apple juice. I drink a lot of it. Ah, you know beaches. Ha ha. I've never, honestly, I don't think I've ever met someone that's known it. Everyone that I went to school with had no, not a clue. So, will we ever do a meet and greet in certain states? Um, we're starting with New York, but if they are successful, we will be doing tours, and it will probably start with East Coast, so Ohio would probably be one of those areas because that is the specific state that was mentioned, but I can't say for sure. I will let you guys know. I Honestly, I want to get to every state because I know we have people in every state, and I think it's just important for disability and difference awareness. New York gay, Boston. Will I ever date anyone? So I've actually dated quite a few people. Like I said, I got, had gotten out of a five-year relationship. Um, right before we went to Disney, I ended it. Um, and then I dated a couple people before that. And in between those relationship, that relationship, that long-term relationship, I dated people in between that and stuff. So yeah. I've dated, don't worry. It's like it's not, ha I just, I didn't want to do it. It was a choice thing. It was my choice, you know, the best thing, my choice. Not their choice, my choice. What is my dream life? Honestly, I want people with differences to be overall accepted. I want people with that are deemed typical, average, normal, whatever to be more accepting. I want the advantages that people have to be more evened out. I want people to be able to have the same opportunities as others despite their differences or their uniquenesses. And I just, I want, I want it to be easier for people. We make life so hard and we do not have to make living this hard. It's, it's more than a power game. Like, it, at the end of the day, we're all human. We all deserve the same things, and we make things up to get power over each other, and it's bull crap. Do I want children? Um, so I have no clue if I want or do not want children. I'm only 24. Um, I know a lot of people my age have kids. Um, not there. <laughs> I'm a late bloomer in that section. I'm sorry. Um, didn't really think I was going to ever have kids or an opportunity to have kids at 16. So I shut that thought down for about eight, like six years. And then the show brought it back up and made it kind of like seem hopeful and possible. Um, so it all determines like where I'm going with life and how my fertility is and everything. But if I want kids, I will make it possible, but I haven't decided if I want them yet. I think also there are, it would there are a lot of thoughts that go into having kids like is it selfish of me is it not selfish of me like would I be giving that child the best opportunity at life like I want to be in the right spot kind of situations I'm not opposed to adopting both um Jesse and my father are adopted as well as my cousins as well as one of my um high school friends I know a lot of people actually yeah I know a lot of people that are adopted I was like there's more um so I'm not against adoption. I've seen it work out. I've seen it not work out. And I know that I would treat the child like my own no matter what. Yeah, I was like, you have to meet the right person to decide if you want a family because if you're ready to have a family alone, that's a whole different decision. But if you're ready to have a family and you've always pictured it next to someone, you're not going to really think about it much until you find that someone. I have the most charming eyes. Oh, thank you. 
I don't, I don't know about that, but thank you. You boost my confidence. Meet and greets will not be speed dating situations. I'm sorry. So that's not how that works. I would make an awesome mom. Thank you. My friends make me feel like I'm a mom. Like I definitely take care of them when I'm out. Unless I'm the one needing taken care of. Like I'm usually the one watching them and making sure like we have everyone. And I'm like, where's your earring? <laughs> but um, sometimes I can be the irresponsible one. I keep forgetting that I have these questions on my phone and it timed out. Aw, thank you. You're an inspiration as well. I don't, like, just because I'm on TV and I speak to masses of people, I guess, because 230 seems like a lot of people for me, doesn't mean you can't be an inspiration to other people in your life. So you, you are an inspiration as well, and remember that. You love my hair? Thank you. I Like I said, I have been thinking, I don't know where it's gonna get to in two months. My hair does grow fast, because it was here two months ago, so it'll probably be here, but I'll probably get it cut again in October. Am I still filming? Um, no, filming for season 200. You're still clear of cancer? That's great. I'm so happy for you. What am I going to be for Halloween? Um, so I'm definitely trying to make a Tiffany outfit starting September. Um, and then I'm gonna probably try to make another one, but it depends on if I have time. Will I go to the Special Olympics? I don't know where it is, but I can always try. How did I become a famous movie star? Well, I'm not a movie star. I was a reality TV star. I've been in a TV series acting wise. Um, but how did it happen? I took acting lessons and then I went to get my portfolio done and I got a manager and my manager thought it was a great idea to start pitching a reality TV show and like a year and a half later we ran into the right person to pitch it the right way and TLC wanted it. Do I specifically dodge some questions? Of course, I can't answer some questions so yeah I have to dodge them. I feel like that's obvious for anyone. Anyone that's being asked questions, there's certain things that they don't and can't say. If I could go back and tell my younger self anything, what would it be? Um, that I'm stronger than I think. Um, a lot of the times I didn't think I would make it this far in life. I didn't think that I would be able to do certain things in life, um, but like I honestly did not think I would be here. Um, and I'm really proud that I am. So I'm, I'm a lot stronger than I think because there's a lot of moments in life that I did not think I would make it through. Have I started my clothing line? I'm working on the second samples. I literally paid for them right before this live. I'm going into the city soon to pick them up. Um, so I have samples one. I have, I'm working on samples two and I'm working on trying to get people to fit them. I do think I have to be right sizing, um, but I'm only gonna produce a certain amount of each size. And if it's successful, I'm hoping to go to another outfit. And if that's successful, I'm hoping to go to another outfit and then maybe I'll make something more like t-shirts, pants and stuff. But um, I want to make sure that I have the sizing right and that I get some nice outfits out there. Like pretty, but like also kind of somewhat basic. Can decide to dress it up or down outfits for um, specifically right now women or feminine bodied people. Um, to wear and feel confident. Two minutes until we start the specific thing. As long as I know this person is here. So I still stream on Twitch, um, genre 1999. 
Um, we stream on the weekends and like every other Tuesday and Thursday. Like this Tuesday and Thursday, I'm doing lives. Um, so Thursday will be a TikTok live, and then this weekend we'll be streaming. Um, this Friday, I won't be streaming. I have to do something with my friend. Um, she has a boutique, and we're going to do some altering for her outfits to my size and see if it can work to do some kind of um, sponsorship for her boutique. And then um, Saturday, I'll be streaming, and maybe Sunday I'll make up for not being there Friday and stream. It all depends on where I am editing-wise and if I'm prepared for the week, because I do everything basically by myself. And some things with my help from my moderators, but not like everything. Like, kind of like thumbnails and um, edits um, for like intros and stuff, not like full video editing. Okay, at 7 o'clock, we are going to be adding my moderator, Ryan, because it is his birthday, and I did this for one of my other moderators on their birthday, so we're kind of following the trend here a bit, but I honestly want to kind of tribute to my literally biggest fan and most supportive fan, because he's been here since, like, the first month after the show airing and he hasn't wavered one bit he's been kind of committed to the community and keeping everything afloat he's even made a community inside jokes and stuff so he's been a really big help to the community and where i am today so we're gonna give tribute to him and go live with him so hey hey shauna happy birthday Thanks. How, so, um, how are you? And hey, y'all in the chat. So, um, I am Ryan, also other known as Rybred. Yeah. yeah. The sounds not the thing, but yeah, I I was like hearing you is a little different than hearing normally on yeah. my phone, but I think that's because it's Instagram Live. Could be. Uh, yeah. But. I think everything is similar to when I did the Connor Bratz oh, interview yeah. and then the inter or not the interview, the live with Nathan. So how's your birthday oh, going? It was doing good. Yeah. Yeah? So I, I just, did, just did a podcast interview earlier um, today. Yeah? Yeah. Did you have fun doing that? Did they do yeah. something for your birthday? Yeah. yeah. Well, That's I, great. Still have, I still have birthday plans for my family for the rest of this week. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so you're getting, like, a whole birthday week situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. I, I See, my family, when I went to my birthday, I went to Nebraska, so I went away from all of them, and I got a call. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was basically it. And then I got an Amazon package, like, a week later, and they're like, oh, here's your birthday <laughs> present. <laughs> but, so, so, can I ask how old you turned? Uh, I turned 32. I was like, I'm going to guess 32 because that's what I remember from the Discord, but I just want to ask. <laughs> so, um, what is your favorite birthday memory? And it doesn't have to be from this birthday. Oh, um, let's see. Uh, I've had some good ones, but I liked the honeymoon last year. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you guys have been married for a bit now. Now, um. One, over one year. I know. Oh, which means it's been like over one year since we met in person, <laughs> which is, is so but strange was, because it feels, yeah. it feels like just yesterday, but also forever ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I feel knowing that you have been here for my family and I and your support and being here in the community and like keeping the discord afloat during that. Uh -huh that like period of no one being in it that oh. it means a lot to me it well, really does yeah glad to help in that yeah um, no i i am so appreciative of it because without you or my other moderators or anyone in the community i don't know where i would have been like oh, yeah. gosh knows but i i am so glad that you support me and 
you know, have been there. And I, I think the Rye Bread series is great. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Agree. Um, so for those of you in the chat that don't know, they do this Rye Bread series um, with like, a, we have the, one of our other moderators, Lance, so known as Tomato Guy, and um, he, he works on animating these. Yeah, no, the, the animation started with, I think, I think it started with Oatmeal Guy and Rye Bread and oh, the tomato, and then it, and then it turned <laughs> into, the, uh, food name trend yeah, thing. the, I mean, the food name trend, really because, um, if you think of it, Golden Cracker Alien, yeah, so yeah. it'd be sort of cool to do, and now we have all these different food names in our community, yeah. Now everyone's named after food. I've, I'm like, honestly, if you don't get named after food, you, it's kind of like not a great thing at this point. But um, like I'm that cotton candy. We have, yeah, I was like, I'm cotton candy. We have, we have butters. We have, we have tomato. We have rye bread. We have oatmeal. We have banana jamma. Like we have everything. And I think that it's it's great that everyone like pulled together like with Lance's animations and oh, wow. You know, now we all do voiceovers and do these small little animation series. I think it's a fun way to keep our community kind of like, you know, young at heart. Oh, absolutely. And it doesn't get old, you know. I feel like I don't want to keep the community all about me. I want to keep it about embracing the differences and the disabilities and empowering each and every one of us to be the best we can be. And I think that's what the Rye Bread series kind of stands for in my mind, because it's the first and like, you know, we have like our other friends that are doing like patchwork in the fashion, like part, we have our friends doing streams. And I like, I think it's great that we're all uplifting each other. But, um, so I think this is great for that you, um, thank you for your time having me on and all this. Okay. I'm glad that we get to the kind of talk in this live towards the end. Yeah. No, I, I'm really appreciative that you, you know, wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. And I am, again, so appreciative towards you. And I hope that your birthday is absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. And, and enjoy the rest of your week with all of your um, family. I don't know what you have planned, but I'm sure you'll let me know. Oh, <laughs> um, I mean... I like what you do with this community. It's amazing how you include all all different people, including all disabilities. I yeah. Mean, I don't mind speaking on in front of these people on here, but I have autism with Asperger's. I even came from going through anxiety growing up, and I've come a long ways from the things. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I like the way this community is. We have a lot of positivity. Yeah, no, the positivity is really important because growing up with a disability and not really knowing about it, like I didn't find a lot of positivity about it. And I, I, I'm so glad that we can be that for people. Mm -hmm. You have so many birthday wishes. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I think i in the chat and I'm not even trying. <laughs> <laughs> It works though. I think everyone appreciates you that's in our community also because we all love rye bread. And I, <laughs> but, I honestly, I can't remember the exact day it happened and exactly what I was doing because I know it happened during a stream, but I'm so glad it happened. And I'm so glad that Lance has also come into our lives because I feel like rye bread was enhanced more with him in a sense than it would have been without him. Dude. Yeah. So I'm I'm so I'm so happy for it, and I'm overjoyed that you are one of the people that have stayed in the community. Because, like I said, like a lot of people start in the community and then they kind of dwindle and drop out, and you know life gets in the way. And you've kind of stayed persistent with the community. Absolutely, Ryan is the glue of our community. <laughs> yes, okay, that is very true. But I mean. The Rybird thing started since March on the Twitch stream. And Lance mm -hmm. looked like the first thing stream that we kind of connected through. Yeah. But uh, I came, I made up Rybird with a pun of Ryan and the Rybird. So yeah. But, yeah, um, I know. I, it happened so fast. I remember like looking down 
down and it being like a typical chat, like what I was used to. And then Lance popped in and <laughs> next thing I know, it's with my dread. And I was like, where did this go? But I, I think, I think it's, it's a beautiful mess that happened. I think, I mean, I've been like part of the community before March and all that this year. And I think I must have this personality that a lot of people in the community like and accept of. Yeah. No, I think, I think you've struck gold with the rye bread things and like yes. you doing the jokes and posting it to threads, I think is so great. And I, I remember watching the video and knowing that like, I was just really proud of you for doing it because like, as a person that's like very introverted, like that takes a lot for me and I know it can take a lot for someone else. So I'm very proud of you for doing it. And I thought they were funny. They were great. Yeah. I, I don't know if I, I remember telling you my reaction, but my whole family watched it and okay. they thought it was amazing. I, I, yeah. I know, um, like your parents, like Mark and, uh, Patty follow me on Instagram and they, yeah. I think they like some both of them. Yeah, no, my mom watched and she's like, that, that, she literally came in and showed me it. And I was like, mom, I'm seeing it. <laughs> she's like, it's funny. Nice. There's even the DM and it sounds like she already shared it. Yeah. <laughs> no, she thinks you she thinks your friendship is just your friendship. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I I am so appreciative to you and I don't know when you have to go, but oh. I planned on ending the live around seven twenty ish unless you want to stay longer. Yes, but um hmm? well, for you and the fans in the chat. Oh, thank you. But um, I do want to tell everyone for the last 10 minutes um, that it will be ending in 10 minutes and we'll just be hanging out with Ryan for the last 10 minutes, but we will be stream or going live on TikTok on Thursday. Do I have a TikTok? Yes, it's Shauna Ray 99. But um, back to you. Um, what are your cat names again? Uh, Ginger, Diana, and Bella. Okay. How old yeah. are they all? Um, I have one that just turned 10, Ginger. Really? Yeah. My, my, my oldest cat lives to 20, I think, or like 19-ish. Um, but I've had like over like 12 cats in my life. And I have a, uh, another that's like Diana, I think is about 11. Oh, wow. So they're all up there in Age. They're not little kittens. No, I, I, I think cats are amazing. Yeah, I think Bella might be about like fifteen. Wow. Wow. Yes. The one that's like way. Have you seen? You've some... had them all for a bit. You've had them all for a very long time. That's amazing. I see. We've never had more than one cat be old in a sense because all of my cats unfortunately tragically passed away at a young age or we had to take them back for medical reasons or something so it was really unfortunate so we only had the one cat that lived long so can i ask what it's like to have multiple older cats like they've been around each other for so long so do, have they like melded personalities or like do they like like have they like learned to like love each other like siblings? Um, I think Ginger and Diana have been real, really comfortable, and my wife and I combined households like as like last year, and we got Bella along. But I think she's been adapting more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was like, so they have the typical adaptive period, yeah. and then they get back to normal. Yeah. I was like, because like my one cat, he was picky. Yes. He was very picky. He was. We we were a male cat household, and we only had one female cat, and the one female cat did not get along with my father and was spiteful, so we never had a female cat again. Um, but my one male cat that lasted from his sister all the way to, like, 19 years, he did not like certain cats. Wow. He just, he, we would usually get two siblings to be, like, his friends, and he would like one cat and then not like the other. And then, like, for the second pair that we got him, um, because the other ones passed away young, um, he picked to, like, neither and just didn't 
exist around either one of them. If one cat was in the room, you did not see my older cat. He was not around. So I don't, I don't know if that's a male cat thing, but oh, they're all three here are females though. Yeah, yeah. I was like, it might, it might be a male cat <laughs> thing, but I, that, that was my experience with yeah. cats. Hello. Five minute warning. Do you find cats liking you or something else better? So, with cats specifically, do you find that one of them likes you more than the rest? I think Diane is that one. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah, Diane is they, your cat. They were mine. They were mine. I first had when I was living alone. Still. Mm -hmm. Do Do some of them like um your wife's name is Hillary yeah. again, right? Yeah. So you guys do you would mind uh, being in there if you were even are okay with her show? Oh, it's it's up to her. Oh, yeah, okay. I was like, it's it's a, it's a her thing. She's right, here, she's right here on the couch. <laughs> Hey, Hi. Hi. How are you? I don't know if Ryan told you, but I thought you looked so beautiful on your wedding day. Say something about that. I don't. I have to set all up very much like that, to be honest. And I, uh, it was quite the occasion. My my yes. brother Connor said I look like a million bucks. So. <laughs> you look amazing, and that I like. Your wedding was so beautiful. It was. It was. It was a great day. Like from the pictures alone. Like. And then Ryan told me you guys had such an amazing time, which is all you can hope for. Yeah, but like well, with the weather, I was hoping like it was like and cloudy, and I was like, I hope it doesn't rain. And Mother Nature, <laughs> should, like the sun came out. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm glad it didn't rain, but I would have just been like, rain is good luck. It was yeah, good. because you, but we, you and I have been together forever, so you knew it was gonna work out. I mean, now over 12 years. <laughs> I know. Like, I was like, that's half my life. <laughs> Yeah. Like, like 19, when I was 19, now I was only 21. Yeah. I was, you know, I was younger than you, and now I'm 33, 32. It's like, yeah. it's like, it's you know, amazing. I mean, I think everyone can only hope to be as great as you guys are because, I mean, obviously, you've been together so long, so it's obviously working out. And today's generation does not have that stability. <laughs> like have boy boyfriends I was focused on school mm -hmm. but like Ryan's my first ever serious relationship mm -hmm. and yeah friends we, we kind of been through a lot of our disabilities but I'm autistic mm -hmm. and you know I met him you know it was just you have so much in common and you grow from that and yeah I think he's you know he still tries to be a wonderful person yes. and I try to be but you know we're not perfect no one's perfect <laughs> but you know yeah. the world is and you know we try to have generous as hearts but we really We've been through a lot, yeah. you know, so, yes, they should. No. Yeah, you guys are stronger because of it, individually and together, and it's it's amazing. Like, you guys are a relationship inspiration to me, because without without you, Ryan wouldn't be who he is, and he's an amazing person, and so are you. And, like, I know I've only met and spoke to you basically on one occasion, but you guys are an amazing, stable part of my life that, that I, I love about y'all. Appreciate that. You know, you know, and we really like try to mean well. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we've had like lots of people criticize us mm -hmm. and you yeah. know, but you know it's like yeah. we just try to be ourselves and yeah. you know, it's hard out there. But you be it's hard to be accepted. I know what that yeah. feels like I way, but I think, you know, Ryan and I try to mean well. Mm -hmm. And we try to like inspire other people, but not like be better, just mm -hmm. not like Ryan or no, I think, I think I think disability and different education is important and, you know, should be taught in schools the same as sex and drug education. I think if we taught people that are viewed in the normal, stereotypical, typical category about people with differences, there'd be less taboos about it and we'd be more accepted into society because at the end of the day, there is a shunning to disabilities when it comes to society. And I don't think that's necessary in our time and age. Like we've grown so much as a human race that we don't need to do that anymore. So many people with disabilities have proven it for us. So I, I think that, you know, people need to stop fighting us for the same rights. I think so. Like my favorite like singer, she's a good advocate, Lady Gaga and Gwen Stefani. I think Lady Gaga, she's like an inspiration mm -hmm. because she's good at music and she's a great actress. 
she's yeah. all about and like you know, you know with respect and you know you can't just because she grew up being bullied she yeah. got like has been through so many health problems but you know she's come a long way and she's done yeah. really well, no she's an amazing advocate and i i'm so glad that she is an advocate for everyone basically because i think without someone being such on a large scale without someone being that advocate for people like us or people with a difference or in a minority that you wouldn't have as much acceptance unfortunately you need those larger people to be like no it's okay in order for the like other people to be like oh yeah it's okay yeah it's okay to be different there's no yeah. No, it, being different, I think, is be, is beautiful in its own way. Like, we're all different, but because we put people into categories, we don't, we view the, like, larger physical differences, at least, or the larger mental disabilities as drastic differences, and that differences that don't need to be around people with, the, like, everyday typical difference. Like, I like the color green, you like the color blue. Oh. Like... I I think we enhance things that are unnecessary, and hopefully we can, you know, get to a better place one day. I'm hoping so, too. It just takes time, you know. Mm -hmm. It does. Poster for me. Personally, yeah. Through, you know, when every day I can tell myself, mm -hmm. just, you know, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, or it's mm -hmm. there, it's not there, it depends. But, yeah. You know, no, it, it's definitely going to take time, but I, I'm hoping by the end of my time here that it is somewhere better. Yeah. No matter if it's like one inch ahead or a hundred feet or a thousand feet, you know, as long as we make a difference, that's, that's the important part. You just be kind and be respectful and it's like those haters can, you know. Like there's a door. <laughs> yeah, there's a door. Yeah. As we have literally everywhere now, which I'm so grateful that you did that for me. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, you're you're amazing, and that that's why we did this live. And I don't I don't want to cut anything short, but okay. I, yeah, I was like, I just want to say bye to Hillary, bye to Ryan, and bye to everyone else. I hope you all have an amazing night, Ryan. Happy birthday again. Stay the positive light you are, because without you, I don't know where our community would be. And I know everyone loves you so much. So just know that even if you don't think that we do, and, you know, we are always here for you if you ever need anything. Thank you. And one other thing really quick before we wrap up. We have the, as the, I, have, I can show up to the cat here. We talk about cats a lot. Um, okay. Turn the camera around just to do it. <laughs> This one's uh, Diana here. Oh. Is your thing between us on the couch? I think it's doing something. She really is your buddy. You seen her in the Discord? One's yeah. in the Discord. Or yeah, I, I, I've like, I've seen her in Discord. I've never seen her move though. <laughs> and then uh, this one's of um, Ginger right here. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this, out of like preference of breed, is my favorite breed you have. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I I love the the calico look, the the spots and everything. Yeah, well, I don't want to waste any more of your time, but I, I thank yeah, you for. You're fine. Yeah, no, I I appreciate you showing me the cats because I am an animal lover. I think that's like something like that I loved about my private messages is like people would send me their animals, so I I appreciate that. But like I said, I don't want to take up too much of your time either. And we'll be chatting on Discord tonight. And I hope your birthday weekend goes amazing. But I'm going to get going. I want to let you go. Have an amazing, if you, you know, night or whatever you're doing. I don't know if you've had cake yet. So if you haven't had cake, I hope you get cake. Yes, you have the cheesecake. And we talk about cheesecake. Delicious. Yes. Okay, great. So you enjoy that and just have an amazing night. Thank you. Bye, Ryan. Mm.